Oh my God, the bag went underwater, you saw that? And it didn't get any water in there because you can reseal it. What another cool feature that was not even planned. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sour Strips limited edition pink lemonade is now live, first thing in the description. My foot! Oh, don't, don't eat that now. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, besides that, uh, the other exciting outfit is we're doing the whole bitch, guys. We're redoing the patio, we're not doing the wood, we're getting rid of that waterfall, and it's only gonna cost us uh, $34,000. Ha, would've been cheaper if I had done it all at the same time when it replastered the pool, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, kinda sucks. And uh, I wanna start this video out by introducing the newest team member formally to the channel. Newest team member on the squad, Team Sour Strips. Introducing Kelly on Thompson! Thompson, Thompson, Thompson! Enjoy the video! Hello! Hey! Introduce yourself to the people. My name's Callie. Callie Ann. Callie Ann. I've never met at a Callie Ann. We have nothing but cool names here. We have Callie Ann, Nick that spells it N-I-C, <laughs> which I've never heard of in my entire life. We have Ozimot, and then we have Mona Brown. It's not even a real last name. And then we have Max with two X's. Then we have Max with two X's. I'm from Alabama originally. Um, Roll Tide. No, War Eagle. Okay. I moved to Houston almost a year ago. What did you do before being Team Sour Strips? I helped with real estate, social media real estate. What is your official role and title here? Official title is social media manager. So I run all the social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, I deal with all of our influencers, making them happy. I started sending a bunch of cool emails. Is the role that you're on, is that different than what you thought it was gonna be? Is it like more, is it less? Or what, um, what, are you like, what are you like finding out each day of like handling all these social medias that maybe people think it's just like, it's just this, but I feel like it's, as you've seen, like it's a lot of work. It's, a it's, lot. it's like it's, a nonstop. It's a lot. It's literally like constantly, con like from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed, I'm talking to people. And every two hours, every you two post hours. a story and mm -hmm. she does all the little designs. Yes, on I make all the story designs. I check out the, you gotta check out the Instagram stories. Like they're, they're very well done. It's like, it's an Thank artiste. You. Thank you. How did you get this position? When Sour Strips first launched, September 9th of last year, Max posted on his story. I did, he doesn't know who I am, um, or he didn't at the time, and he was just like, hey, if anyone's in the Houston Stafford area, can you come help pack candy? And I was like, I'm in the Houston Stafford area, I can help you pack candy. So I replied to him, I didn't think you were gonna reply to me actually, and I was just like, screw it, I'll give it a shot. And I was like, yo, I can come help you, and he was like, cool, come help. So afterwards, I just messaged him, and I was like, yo, thank you for like letting me help you. I think it was really cool, like if you ever need help with anything else, hit me up, I can come help. So that just kind of kept being a thing, kept hitting me up to come help pack candy and do all kinds of things like that. And then eventually I moved on to part-time, and then a couple months ago I came on full-time. So. Yeah, and she has just been absolutely crushing it, and it's definitely something that like I would try to do all the social media by myself for a long time. And as Sour Strips explodes, it's like a whole different kind of beast because it's candy. We just get bombarded with DMs like so every so single like minute, and um, so she's been a huge help in taking that off my plate to allow me to focus on doing more things uh, to grow the brand. And like I said, I didn't like put out a position to hire for social media manager. It's more people who came and kind of helped uh, part-time and helped grow the business in the initial phases. I kind of look for characteristics that I think would be really good for a long-time position with the, with the brand and with the family. And uh, Callie really stood out to me with her work ethic and uh, her spunk, you know? Like you, you have, right personality. Yeah, you have to have like <laughs> the personality to fit the role and I think that I knew she was gonna do a really good job and she's just been crushing it ever since. Thank you, I can't imagine you like 
running the social media now with like everything you already do. It's a lot. It's, just, it's a freaking lot. Like I wouldn't say it's overwhelming because I enjoy it and I love it, but it is like a lot. There's so much going on, and so you're learning. This is your first time doing like a launch, mm -hmm. and it's just like it's like timing. It's like all these platforms. What's going on? What you know, making yeah, sure everything everyone has to gets go everything. At the same time, like on all platforms, and it's just like if you can schedule things, schedule things in advance. That yeah, helps. so stay <laughs> organized. That's great. And what's yes. your favorite flavor of sour strips? Strawberry. Hands down. Well, that's incorrect. It's actually mango. Strawberry. But, uh, you know, potato, potato. Uh, and she's going to be coming with us over to Alpha Land, and you're going to have your very own office. I'm so excited. Do you want to go so see excited. it? Now? Let's go right now. Really? Woo! Wow! Okay. Well, let's go! Woohoo! All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, so this, this is the office. Whoa! Yeah, this is the conference, and this like this is all gonna be glass wall, the entire halfway, glass door. This is our fourth office. Uh, so this will be glass wall, glass door. So that's like an extra office for a Z expansion. Z expansion. And then all of this is the like lobby. So we're like this is like where we have the couches. We'll have like a table. We'll have the. Um, like the kitchenette over there in the With corner. A microwave. Microwave, so you can heat up all your meal preps because Callie is into uh, the bodybuilding meal prep thing. So this is a pretty big space, right? Yeah. All of this, this is will more be. More than enough space for oh, like it's gonna chill be area. Lovely. And this is new. I didn't know they put the framing up. These are. This is the hallway. I'll go down. And I do believe that this is your office. <gasps> wow. What do you think? I love it. I'm envisioning it. It's a good size. It was big. <laughs> Yeah. I'm a small human. This is perfect. Space. Before it only went up to like here, we expanded it out to give everyone more space. <laughs> so here, here, kind of act like you're sitting like right there. I guess if you have your desk there, that's where it is. Be like, oh, hello. Oh, hello, hello, welcome. Super exciting. And then this over here is so we're gonna have the door right here that would swing open, and then this entire space up until that window is gonna be like me and Mona. So probably have like Mona over there. I'll be in this wall. And then the wall will basically, where that window is, um, that'll be the, the photo studio. You excited for wow, it? Wow, I'm so excited. I'm oh, so yeah. happy. Glad you have me on the team, Carly. Thanks, dude. Fist bump. <laughs> oh my God, it's in. Well, I'll see you later. How does that work? No one knows how that works. Oh, you're filming? Oh yeah, yeah, you caught me. Okay, so for the patio extension redo in the Travatin with the new waterfall, uh, it's costing us a bunch of money and we're paying for it all in cash. And this is most of it as a down deposit. This is what $20,000 looks like in cold, hard cash. You might be like, Max, dude, that seems very dangerous, carry around that much cash. Why are you paying a, a business in cash? Because they're giving me a discount for paying cash. Max, why would a business give you a discount for cash? Why would they want that much cash on hand? Uh, I'll let you use your brain to figure out why a business would not mind getting something in cash and giving a discount for it. Uh, also, I know every video is like seeming like I'm just spending a lot of money. Um, that's because every day I'm just spending a lot of money and I'm just being upfront with you on how much things cost. Um, if this was a rap song and I was spending $20,000, it'd be like, got 20 bands out of the bank and I'm gonna throw it on a bitch's titty tonight at the strip club. And then everyone would be listening to it on YouTube and be like, oh yeah, dude, throw it on her tits. Oh yeah, dude, throw it on her tits. But see, it's not a rap song, it's my life, right? So if I had a song, it'd be like, I know it's not as cool as throwing it on boobs, but I really think this money is gonna make my house beautiful. And it might even help resell value in the future. And then everyone's just like, the song sucks! Guys, guys, guess what we got? Guess what we got, baby? Keys to the mailbox of the new house! Do you know what this means? It means we can get our mail. Uh, I kind of wish I was number one, but you know, I guess uh, being number two isn't so bad. I mean, you could be second, third, fourth. Hell, you could even be fifth. Oh, we have no mail. Well, tragic. 
thought there'd be at least be a bill in there or something. <laughs> Why does no one love me? By the way, the mail here is in like a community box. I really thought moving into the suburbs that I'd have like an individual mail box, right? And then I could be like one of those crazy stories to see on Facebook where it's like, dog waits for a mailman every day and they become best friends for 25 years. But now dude's never gonna be able to have that memory. Ooh, I think I have a package. Ooh, the grass is all cut. It looks so nice. Oh, oh you turned my sign around, birds. I know. I can't. I can't reach. You know, I am not a fan that they would just leave these packages out here. Like, that really blows me away that they would do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're ceiling fans. Uh, ooh, Fragili. Must be European. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, the F624 Roto XL, baby. 62 inch blades, 20 degree blade pitch. Oh, yeah. six inch down rods. Oh, my gosh. Oh, for wet location. <laughs> well, that one's going in my bedroom. <laughs> I'm sorry about that one. Guys, I figured I'd give you a little physique update. I act like we're in like a crazy competition, like prep. I hate my block of cheese. Look how thick I am. I think I'm getting like maybe thinner because I used to have like erections coming out of my back, but I haven't deadlifted in a while. But uh, yeah, we're not competing. We're just getting lean for our new pool in our new uh, patio. Where we get to choose the trapper team today. Oh yeah, we get to choose out rock colors and types. Oh, it's gonna be so sick. Being an adult, so cool, picking out rocks and stuff. Maybe we'll go to Bed Bath and Beyond at Home Depot. I just don't know if we have enough time. But you guys wanna come with me? You wanna come? You wanna come check out some trapper team? Okay. Let's do this thing. I got a feeling choosing this stone is gonna be a really hard decision. <laughs> I bet Dwayne Johnson would have a tough time choosing which one. <laughs> it's the rock jokes. Hello. Ooh. 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 Welcome to Travertine World, where you have all of the options available for your pool. Now, originally, we were gonna go with your standard travertine, which is, you know, a porous rock. You can get a little closer, Christine. That's all right, don't be scared. And, uh, you know, it's it's looking lovely. I definitely don't like the, the tan one. Um, not a big fan of that, because we're going with like white and black accents on the house. I was thinking, look at this one, dude. A little dark, right? And you might be like, Max, dude, that's gonna be hot. Well, guess what? Even the light gray would burn the skin off of your, uh, your feetsies. So this is uh, pretty much, the, it's, they're, they're both gonna be hot, okay? If you go with any sort of gray, unless you go with the white, which is not hot at all, you're, it's gonna be hot, okay? So we're gonna put water on it, it'll be all right. But this is called black, I think it's like black bath salts or something like that. No, basalt, black basalt. And uh, it looks lovely, might be an upgrade, but you know what? The house is worth it. Let's go crunch numbers, grind. Yes, okay. and you're looking at about a couple thousand dollars difference in material there. How much exactly? You know what guys, um, it's going to be 2,000 donuts more. If you don't know that reference, you haven't watched my YouTube channel for long enough. But you know what? Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And we have our boy, Kenny here. Remember when it said don't put your face on structured surfaces? <laughs> that was my cheek. Dude. That was a lot of corruption. Double cheeked up on a Thursday. Hey. What's the vibe of the house, dude? It's Friday. <laughs> What's the vibe? The vibe. This, he's, he's the designer. He's designing. He's managing all the projects for the entire house. And he's designing uh, what we call in the biz uh, the vibe. What's the vibe? The vibe is contemporary, simplistic, streamlined. And now we're going to change the outside to match the inside. Other than having the house white now. It's going to be like a club where like usually you want to get inside and it's like super cool. Mm -hmm. But we're going to make a new one where like the outside is the inside yes. and the inside is the outside. Because we're all 21. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this. 
wrap the video up here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could smash thumbs up button, hopefully picked up some of the sour strips. Wait a second. Max, if I didn't know any better, I think you filmed the intro of this video and the outro of the video, but then made it appear as if it was two different days. No, God, don't even think about it like that. Thank you for watching. Smash thumbs up button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace! You wanna see how long I can do a handstand? Alright. I definitely am as annoying on my videos as I think I am when I'm <laughs> making these things. Goodbye.